What's up team, we are back with another video and today we're finally working on the T18 again. Woo! Stoked to be working on this thing. I've been super excited to get back into it. I want to get it finished and I want to take it for a smash. But first, we've got a bunch of jobs to do. Um, and today, we are doing probably the hardest job on the whole build, I reckon, is making the engine mounts. Because it's something I've never ever done before. I've never mounted an engine from one manufacturer into another manufacturer's chassis. So, it's going to be quite the adventure. Obviously, it was an adventure getting the engine to fit in the first place. But it does, and now we're working on actually getting it centre. So... I spent a bit of time before I started filming kind of having a look around and seeing exactly how I was going to do things. So we're basically going to weld directly to the subframe with some steel and then obviously we'll have a bolt coming out of the steel through the mount here and uh, bolt on top with some rubber or something underneath. Um, and that's pretty much going to be the gist of it. Uh, basically what I've done is I've had to make sure the engine is centre in the engine bay. I've done that by basically measuring off the chassis and then getting it perfectly centre with the uh, crank bolt because you've got to imagine that that's perfectly centre on the engine um, and that's what you want centre so I've gotten that perfectly centre up here and then in the car luckily the gearbox is sitting here so I've made sure that that's centre also at the moment it's just currently sitting on this uh, slider here so I can kind of shift the gearbox as I need it but that's about centre there so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that um, so now we're gonna go ahead and create some mounts we're gonna have the engine I want it sitting a little bit lower than it is so see how the pulley here is obviously coming over the front of the chassis here so what I'm gonna do is just cut into the chassis and box it out to make space for the pulley because it'll be sitting basically on this by the time I lower it down so next up I need to measure the height that we want this boxing to be and then they'll be permanently welded to the subframe down here yeah let's get to it all right so here's a rundown on the design for my engine mount it's very basic we've got boxing we've got a bolt washer so we're just going to literally weld the heck out of this bolt onto this washer underneath so it's sticking up just like that and we're going to weld this here so this is basically flat welded up the top so the bolt is sticking out the top Cut it to the size length that we need, which is 95 millimeters. And then that'll be our engine mount, which will literally go under here, weld to the subframe, and bolt to the engine mount. And we'll do the same on the other side. So, very simple. Remember, this is a budget build, but I don't see any reason why, if the welds are good, that that wouldn't solidly hold the engine in place while we're drifting. So, feel free to let me know in the comments below if you think that that's a terrible setup, but that's what we're doing. So, uh, let's weld this thing up, cut it to size, and chuck it in and see if my theory is correct. So we've got our trusty gasless MIG set up. I've actually found an appropriate size washer as well which is nice. So uh, I'll set it this way. I'm going to weld around here. Flip it upside down obviously so the bolt's sticking up. Put it here, weld around. And then uh, it's our engine mount welded and then we'll cut it to size. And there we have it, one engine mount. So that's pretty much as I envisioned it. Excuse the welds, they're not amazing, but they'll do what they need to do. Now, I need to cut it down to size, and uh, then we can move on to the other side. Pretty rad, really. Give it a look of paint. Obviously weld it to the subframe. You never know that that was homemade, probably, maybe. But yeah, rad, making progress. I'm stoked. Woo, engine mount. So we've notched that out. Let's see if it fits. Alrighty, so super stoked with how that came out. So that's how it fits in, and that's how it'll sit on the subframe, and I'll literally weld around that, and that'll be nice and tidy and tight to the subframe. And that's that side of the engine literally mounted, so that's pretty freaking amazing. I'll just double check the measurements and make sure that engine's center. Obviously, I can move this kind of left or right a little bit to make sure it's all good. That's pretty cool actually because I've never done this before. Didn't know how this was going to play out, but it looks like it's actually going to work. Looks awesome. Stoked. So now I'm going to go ahead and tack some welds on the engine mount to the subframe so that that can't move. And then I'll do go ahead and do the other side and that'll be the engine mounted. Then we'll pull it out 
and I can do a couple of other things like finish off the welds around the engine mounts under the subframe, notch out the front of the chassis and then we can put the engine back in, make the gearbox mount and then we'll go ahead and start sorting out the diff. Alright, time to get welding on this engine mount and then we'll do the other one. Boom! That is engine mount number one, tacked in and super stoked. So now we need to figure out what we're going to do on the other side. It should literally be identical though, so... Mad. So it's the exact same deal on the other side of the engine, but I realised that I've run out of box tubing, uh, which is great. So instead I'm just going to use the circular tubing, still the same deal, work exactly the same. Washer on top with bolt, obviously, and we'll notch out the bottom, slip it under, weld it to the subframe, and then the engine is going to be completely mounted, which is super exciting. Um, that's really the hardest part done, and the part that I was kind of dreading doing, so let's get this done. Mount number two done and dusted. Gonna chuck it in, test fit it, make sure it all fits up. Of course it will because we made it, so you know, perfect measurements and all that type of stuff. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Second engine mount is in. Stoked. So I'm gonna chuck welds on that just to make sure it's all gonna stay where it is. And that's it, the engine is mounted. That is absolutely mental. Was much simpler than I thought it was gonna be, but uh rad, let's get that welded. Boom! That's tacked in. The M50 is now officially mounted in the T18 so we can take the weight and that's it. Woo! Engine mount number one, engine mount number two, engine sitting pretty nice and center in the car. Oh man this is going to be a fun car to drive. And that's it, the engine is officially mounted in the T18 and how good does it look? It just looks nice and tidy in there now. It's sitting lower at the front, higher at the back which is what I needed. The mounts are done, it's honestly, I'm beyond stoked. And it just, yeah, this thing is just going to be incredible. That is honestly the hardest job that I had to do, or I thought I had to do. And it's out of the way and it took me an hour. Although, it took me probably a good week of just thinking in my head about how I was going to get it done. Um, but really, the execution, I'm stoked on it. So next up, yeah, we'll rip the engine out, get everything uh, done, and then we can start working our way to the back of the car. So this thing is just going to rip. Look at it. BMW engine, Twitter. BMW engine, Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and it's Mike Lake. We'll see you guys in the next episode, more T18 Madness, as well as the E36 going under the knife for some much needed engine surgery. Peace.